Hi, uh, this is a little bit of a nostalgic video for me. Uh, this has been lying in my attic. It's an old oscilloscope. What's interesting about this oscilloscope is I built it as a college project. It's based on this old book here. Uh, this dates back from 1979, first edition. It was just a few years later I think I built the project. Uh, but it, it gives you all the details for building it, this oscilloscope. It's a pretty basic single trace oscilloscope. But, uh, and it was originally designed on a on tag board. It even gave you the dimensions for the uh, the metalwork. So there's the front of it. So I didn't like this design at all. I wanted a more modern looking oscilloscope. So I just based it on this uh, and uh, did my own thing. Yeah. So we, we've, we can different inputs in here, we can put, there's one single channel, uh, we've got uh, an X input as well, and we also have a Z input actually on this, so it has a few bits and pieces. Uh, it's not as good as anything like these days, you can pick up these for very little money, uh, digital storage, oscilloscope, single channel, they don't do lucid new figures though. So, um, but anyway, for the time, this was quite quite a nice project, you couldn't buy an oscilloscope cheaply in the 1980s. I even made up my own manual for it uh, with the new design layout, um, but circuit board layouts, uh, which is I used them and the layout inside this particular design. I also made some notes of some of the tests at the end as well. Anyway. It, don't, it doesn't work now, it's been lying up in my attic for a number of, quite a number of years and if we switch it on, if we remember how you switch it on, there we go, gosh it's got an LED. <laughs> ah yes, so now we, we don't seem to have any time base, you can make out a dot. Yeah, time bases stop functioning. So let's open it up and uh, see how nostalgic it is for me. <laughs> Walk down memory lane. There we go. So we're using just a conventional linear power supply at this end and a quite easily obtainable CRT. This was a reasonably cheap CRT at the time and then I made all these little separate boards up and it is actually populated on both sides. Uh, this will be the uh, X and Y deflection plate amplifiers on this side. I first saw the, the the cover I'd put in it's made in Dalkeith, Scotland. <laughs> That's where my the college was at the time. <laughs> so even got a bit of perspex here with the high voltage sign. I think I got a few wee nips off it when I was making it and testing it. Seems to ring a bell. So our time base amplifier I think is here. So if we look at that too. So I've been checking around the actual time base circuit itself, uh, taking off the, the board off its mountings here, and uh, just been checking some components. And what we have is a short across with this Zenard diode is, and if I buzz it out, it's not the diode, it's the capacitor. So the uh, capacitor has gone short in here. We need a replacement. Okay, I've replaced the capacitor. So I'm just going to try and get this board back on its standoffs. So I've changed this. It's slightly different value, but it is just a voltage regulating capa or smoothing capacitor. That one has got short. And I'll see what happens. I'll we'll just put this back together again. Oh, 
Okay, time for the big switch on. Will it work? Yes, there we go. We have our trace back. Well there you have it, we've got it working. Good thing we keep the old circuit diagrams, uh, that made life very easy to, to sort. Um, not sure what to do with it now, it's been lying for <laughs> decades in the attic, it can probably go back for a few more. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in seeing it, uh, it was certainly nostalgic for me and even smells like old electronics. Uh, can't share that with you, cheers. <laughs>